We're going to talk about three different uh, models today. First one is building it from scratch. The second one is called emulating, which we'll talk about. And the third one is using templates, which is relatively new, but also very exciting. Building from scratch. Now the dreaded Xcode screenshot, which everyone loves to look at. Shockingly, a lot of people actually really like looking at the code. And I'm, I'm guilty of this on the website. I, I used to code HTML websites. And in a lot of ways, it's cool to be a problem solver and to see how things work and to really build things from the ground up. And what's great about building it from scratch is you get complete customization. I mean, a lot of people out there, people in the audience, you might have an idea that's never been done before. And so it's really hard to go and say, well, here's what it looks like, or here's a template. Well, but it's, it's so different than anything I've ever built. And if you build it from scratch, you get that customization. Um, it can be time consuming, especially if you're starting off, if you've never coded before. You have to learn how to do it all and that sort of thing. Um, Bug testing, I say this because this can be one of the most time intensive parts where you kind of have to fix your own mistakes as you go, right? You know, you'll never do it the right way and when you're building it from scratch. And it's deep involvement. You have every single piece of the puzzle. You are, you are looking at it, you are watching it, or your developer is. Now, who is this really good for? Uh, like I said, for someone who's, uh, this has never been done before. Uh, we gotta build this from scratch because, you know, it, it just has to happen. Uh, you search the app store, just, there's nothing like it, or you're really interesting from coding. We're going to talk about an example in a few minutes about a couple other reasons about intellectual property or having value to it. And we'll talk about why building it from scratch can be helpful in that sense. Emulating. This is one of the most popular methods um, and one that I've seen a lot of students be really successful with. Emulating essentially means you identify an app that's out there uh, and you have someone recreate it and improve it. And we'll go through an example of what this is all about. What emulating does is it mitigates your risk because it gives you almost a blueprint that you can hand to someone and say, hey, this is going to answer 80% of your questions about what happens here and when you, when you click the X box, where do you go and all this sort of thing. Uh, it's less unique than building it from scratch because you're, you're starting from an established framework. You're still building it from scratch, but you have a blueprint, right? So you're still saying, all right, we're going to build this, but we know what we're building already. This isn't out of my head. It's already, it's already something that's out there. Now, here's an example that I just pulled off the App Store. This is one of the top apps in the App Store. And all this is really is a video app that they found in the App Store that they, you know, they, they took off somewhere. And they emulated it, and they made it a little bit better. Now it's a VHS home recorder, so that they have a regular video recording app but instead of doing it like everybody else, this is the improvements they made. So this might not be completely original, but it's just incrementally better. And because of that, they shot to the top of the App Store. That's, what you, that's the idea behind the emulation model. And then finally, app templates. And this is something that on Blue Cloud we talk a lot about. It can also be called app reskinning, and this has evolved over uh, the course of, I don't know how many, a couple of years now, I guess. And it's been, it's been fun, and this is always continuing to evolve. It's kind of like the web, where if you're going to go build a website, you might not want to build a website from scratch because there's a million templates you can go get out there. Same idea is happening in the App Store. You start with a foundation, you customize it, and you improve it. Now, this is a little different than uh, emulating because you actually get the code itself. You can go on to websites and purchase the physical source code and then redesign the package versus emulating where you have to build it just based on what you see. That's the difference. It's the least unique, right? It's, it's, you, you have the most repurposed part of the code. It's also lowest cost. So if you're getting started in apps and you say, look, I've got a $100 budget, what do I do? This is a great place to just learn about apps and to actually get something in your pocket and say, all right, now I can get started because it's really, it's really low cost. It's also the fastest to market where you know, you can get this done in a matter of weeks, days sometimes, and you're in the app store. You're getting downloads. Maybe you're a marketer and you don't want to deal with the apps. You just want to focus on the downloads. This gets you in the app store in the next two weeks. Boom. Like, now you have something to go market. I mean, this is a great solution for that. Uh, it's also a great learning process. So if you say, hey, I, want it, I don't want to learn how to code, but I want to learn how to get in the app business, this can be great because it's really low cost and you can learn all the pieces very quickly. Here's an example. These are two apps that, these are actually two of the first apps that when I realized this whole idea of using templates, 
you can imagine, OK, well, we've got this great uh, animal running game, and here's how to play. And then over here, there's a Panda app that is a little bit of how to play. Now, moving forward, I would probably try to make this an improvement, you know, like add new functionalities and make it better and improve the app. But you can, you can see how I can make, I think we made an elephant one and maybe a puppy dog one and whatever else it may be. And the whole idea of this, where you can go and buy the source code, it can really work out.